head. Ugh. Ah, you wake. Good. Good heavens, it feels like I have a thousand rat roaches scurrying around up here. Not uncommon, but you are not. Never in my life have I met a soldier under the bull with such brass. Not to mention cowardice. What is your name? Uh, my name? Uh, they call me Cam. I, I mean, uh, Brutus. Well, Brutus, I find it hard to believe that with the way you acted in front of your superior today. What say you? I say this legionary is innocent. Do you now? Because a certain guard informed me that you, Brutus, if that is your real name, attempted to strong-arm him in order to enter the pre-war facility that we now hold. Tells me that you received orders from the man speaking to you. Now, I don't seem to recall a conference with you, let alone meeting you. Where did this pre-described tale come from, Brutus? We talked, but I regret to inform you that I forgot the passphrase. It was my fault, but I did not want to burden you while you carried on your work. Now I've just had enough of your lies. Do you not realize who I am? Uh, pretty swift with a blade, I can see. I am the Terror of the Sands, Slayer of Paladins, Brander of over 1,000 slaves. Do you take me for a fool? You spit in the face of an imposter. All right, there's no need of that machete on my throat, young man. You, you've got me all right. You've got me. You will not order me, let alone a centurion. Oh, th that was no order. It was a request. I'm at an inch of my life, okay? Humor me then, Brutus. Why shouldn't I see the blood drain from your neck in my office right now? Oh, Please, you've achieved greater than this. Uh, what was that? A slayer of paladins? Marcus, paladins, for the love of Pete. You have nothing to prove by killing me. Perhaps not, but an enemy of the Legion has to die by mole rats for all I care. And what have I done to become an enemy of the Legion, huh? You seem to have concluded I killed someone. You? You? I've done nothing to endanger you or your people. I don't order, but I do request you channel your anger to the more reasonable side of your leadership qualities. I want to help. <sighs> Thank you. My leadership was obtained through blood and slaughter. You have my brief attention. <clears throat> Marcus, I mean you no harm. Please believe me. I'm listening. Well, you see, this character... Brutus, he is me. The new me. Yeah. Please, explain yourself. My original title, the title of Prolificate, deemed me Walter, some lowlife scum who had nothing more in life to fulfill other than begging for caps and diving for leftovers each night in the fill. Mm. Uh, Walter, the depraved sinner he was, found no pleasure in slaying his closest friends for spare scratch. But he did what he had to do, though as he grew older, his sights became fixated on a higher cause. And what was that cause, Brutus? Uh, no need to worry, sir. The prolificates couldn't tempt me with heavy armor and flashy tack. It was a long time ago, and when their desert seemed almost empty, I saw the banner of the bull, like, like a distant heat wave. I was sure it was a mirage, until the gunfire proceeded. Yet you breathe. Ah, Walter laid down his arms to the sheer side of the Legion. Perhaps it was the flag itself, or maybe the natural strength of its soldiers, ready to kill for mighty Caesar. Hmm. What happened then? I was taken prisoner and sentenced for slavery once returned to the camp. But along the way, Walter bargained not for his life, but for a part in the cause. He was brave enough to challenge a Legionnaire who had recently joined. And he accepted? Why, of course. The leading Vexillarius... Approved of this challenge, set Walter up with nothing but his wasteland rags and a rusty knife against this soldier with all the standard armor and blades. The fight was tense, but once my blade carved into the throat of that legionnaire, I knew it was certain I would take his name. Thus Brutus was born. Thus Brutus was reborn. Walter was no more. Well, that might be fine and well. A liberating story. What exactly brought you before me and my camp? Brotherhood attack. The fight was fierce, despite us being outnumbered, though I lived, obviously. 
The rest died in combat before I eliminated the threat. I wandered. Though in disarray, I came across this base. It... it called me here, strangely enough. Born from the dirt, reborn from blood. Your story has moved me, Brutus. But... this still does not explain... Uh, that called me too, Marcus. I lied in order to gain entry to the facility. So... I could... well... I don't know what, but I swear to you, it called me. Hmm. Look, I, I never exactly entered the actual fold of the Legion, but anything to prove myself to you would be no trouble at all. Let me show you that Brutus means what he says, eh? And perhaps I could stand guard in the base. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, with your passion, I can assure you that standing guard will not be your highest calling. <laughs> of course, of course. Though, that would be a great start. Uh, perhaps that can be my first step. Rubus, what was your... <clears throat> Walter's occupation before he was reborn? I'm sure not every day was turmoil and table scraps. Oh, but it was. Well, he did work as a... Private investigator. What? Uh, how did you... For a detective, you're quite rusty undercover. I... Should have slit your throat immediately after you woke. But there's clearly something you want from us, and I want something from you. How did you know I was a detective? Oh, please, Camry. If newspapers were still among us, your face would be plastered all along every week's cover. It was worth a try, wasn't it? And you can try again, if you wish to further the Legion's progress and save your own life. What can I possibly do to further death and madness? And it seems you boys are having your fill around this cesspool of a camp. On the surface, yes. Though I am afraid it's been interrupted by a second interloper. Perhaps a Brotherhood agent? Perhaps NCR found its way into our territory. Find out. Whoever is slitting the throats of my men in the still of the night is surely someone you want to be thanking when you do the same to his. Because that person happens to be the sole reason you breathe. Uh, I, I, and, and how do I know you just won't turn me into a slave or crucify me? I'd leave this a mystery if the circumstances were different. But failure of finding this spy could be my undoing. In other words, the same punishment lingers above my head. Or worse, end up like Malpia's like it. I want two things from this place, Marcus. <laughs> you can keep your wretched life, Walter, but you cannot shift the balance that heavily. The, the balance will remain even. Uh, I'm sure it's something you or your brothers won't need. It's a component down in the bunker. Uh, the reason I was prying so much at the guard. Component? Whatever is it for? It you It's used in the production of wasteland caps, uh, currency you don't need. I traced it to this very military base. It's the whole reason I'm here. Useless pre-war technology. I'll consider it, Detective. But for now, you will remain all focus on the situation. I'm giving you three more murders until I see you on a cross. I can see slavery is something even you can escape from in the Legion. So it's this, or a slow death. I'm glad to see you're reasonable, Marcus, even if there is a gun to my head. Three days ago, we find the corpse of one of our legionaries with his throat red, while still curled up in the comfort of his own bedding in the soldiers' barracks. The day after, the same thing. As if mere sleep had killed him. Indistinguishable from the looks of sleep. Yesterday. Let me guess. Another dead. Under sheets that were once white. Though this time, it was a Vexillarius. A solid count of 16 slaves were killed after failing to interrogate them. Ugh. So many hands lost those few days. Boo hoo. Oh, always me. I just lynched some slaves and now I have to work all by myself. Boo hoo. Our property, i.e. slaves, are the Legion's most valuable import. Do not cross me again. Fine. But cut to the chase. 
What leads, if any, do you have? Leads? Uh, clues, eyewitness reports, weapons, fingerprints, leads. Give me something to work with. Not many cases get solved out of thin air, yeah? We've heard individual tales of the killer. Someone quite similar to yourself, wearing standard Legion armor, attacking in the dead of night, making little to no sound. I'm afraid that's all we have at the current moment. It's not much, but it's a start. Take me down to the barracks. The quicker I can find this man, the better. And, uh, do you think I could redress in some more modern threads? I can't see how you all live like this. If all goes like silk, you shouldn't be here long. Live with it for now, Cameron. Oh, let's go. Since all but one know of your endeavors here, there's no need of reintroduction to our forces. You are Brutus, Walter. Continue with your intended persona. Brutus. Got it. Uh, now show me the stiffs. <coughs> By golly, you didn't move the bodies? We didn't want to sully the crime scene. <coughs> you people are sadistic. You know that. <coughs> Enough with your complaints. My men have had to endure the stench for three days too long. Now give me a reason to move the corpses when you're through. Until then... Find out who's murdering my men. Great. It's still pounding, and this is only going to make it worse. Ugh. How in blazes do these savages live in conditions like this? All oh, right, they're savages. I can't even tell what I'm stepping in. It's so dark in here. Wish I had a match to light. The place smells worse than the latrines, I bet. Wait. Aha! Uh -huh. uh, the idiots left the two-way radio on me. <coughs> Draco? You had one job. Look, I got spotted shortly after you let me loose in this place. It looks like I'm working for the Legion as of the time being, but not all is lost. Uh, how did you even know it didn't go smoothly? <coughs> it's been hours, Walter. Of course, I sensed a mishap in the operation. <coughs> Are you asking me to get this done, or are you asking me to get this done right? I honestly couldn't care less, as long as it's done. Now give me the current status. I got my cover blown by a guard that wouldn't let me into the bunker. He pistol whipped me, and I woke up in the Centurion's office. The Centurion didn't buy the Brutus bunk, and he was darn near close to cutting my throat. But he somehow knew of my investigator background, so he bargained my life for the life of the man that's been killing his men in the barracks, which I'm in now. He knows you're Walter Camry. Hey, I'm on the same boat as you, pal. How anyone like him could figure me out is beyond me. But it looks like I might get the can opener component along with my life if I figure out who's been killing this man's soldiers in the dead of the night. All right, all right. So it looks like we have hope. You think you can find the guy? These monsters don't know a patricide from a matricide. But this ain't a vault of educated citizens with morals. This is a group that takes its principles from ancient Rome. I could finger any old guard and say he did it. Get the goods and scram. No, that's too risky. We need you to exhaust this investigation to its furthest length possible. Do your best to find that killer and send him to the cross. I don't want to hear dead air on this radio next time I turn it on. Oh, no need to worry about me. I'll get the guy. Just, Draco, I have a backup plan, if you do. These men, they're the farthest thing from trustworthy. Marcus comes off as a man with honor, but we've all met our great pretenders in the wasteland. Make a valid point. If I can put together a backup plan, I will. Just do as they ask for now, Walter. Roger. I'll see you with that component. All right. Minimal light in here. But judging by where those flies are buzzing around, the bodies must be just ahead. Yep. 
Antioch. These people really do want the ancient Roman soldier appeal. These men wouldn't know class if it hit him in the face. Ah, here they are. Well, Marcus was right about one thing. Clean cut across the throat. And it does look like they were sleeping. I know this sounds strange, but these have to be the cleanest kills I've ever seen. No signs of a struggle. No signs of fighting back. And what a puzzling feature. All three legionaries killed were sleeping across from one another. First and second victims on parallel bunks, and the other just the next bunk down. Hmm. Either this murderer held a grudge against these three guys, or plans on carrying out his murders in single file. Which would, wouldn't be a very smart move if he wants the next murder victim to seem random. At this rate, it just looks like a pattern. Yep. Third man ain't any different. Just a cutthroat. Let's see if we can find a murder weapon. Uh, nothing under this bed. Oh, nothing under this one either. Darn, this isn't looking good for you, Camry. Oh, come on, please give me something good. Please give me something good. Oh, now what's this? Is that a, a bag? Oh, come on, be a knife and I can call this case closed. Wait, what? Well, these aren't knives, let alone weapons. There's a whole bunch of these little... Oh. Oh! <laughs> All right, my men, listen up. I summon you here from your daily duties in regard to the death of three of your patrol mates and the supposed safety of the barracks in the past three days. In barrack number three, three legionaries were slain, as you know. But before any more can die by the hands of this lowly profligate, I bring before you a specialty soldier. An agent, if you will. All the way from Caesar's camp in the Mojave. <gasps> Silence! Now the reason I had him make this long journey into the Texas Commonwealth from the Mojave is to put an end to this mockery. And I'm sure this very interesting lead he has found is enough to have one of you here sent to the mole rat pits. Or perhaps more fitting, the cross. And perhaps punishment can be reduced. Nobody? Okay. Show them what you found, Brutus. Upon entry of your barracks, I discovered the said bodies of three of your squad mates, all three having had their throats slit as they slept. A shame, since they couldn't have bled under the name of Caesar during combat. But in the end, we stand here today because they were dishonorably slain. I will see to it that the coward, falsely wearing legion garbs, is punished. Severely. Brutus, this highly trained agent, has scoured the camp in order to fully seal the evidence find the culprit responsible. That culprit stands before Brutus and I now. Silence! Show them what you found, Brutus. Take a good look at this bag, gentlemen. In it are devices I'm sure even the most common wastelander from here to Boston are familiar with. I found them loosely hidden under the bunk just behind the, the vexillarius that had been murdered. What are they, Brutus? <gasps> Yes, that's right. Stealth boys. A good twenty of them. Just enough to take out their men to review men. And more than likely, a few other small barracks of soldiers. Fingers point to a Brotherhood spy without a doubt. Because recruits like you wouldn't have any knowledge of how to use these. Please, Brutus. Tell my men how these devices work. Gladly. The stealth boy machine allows one to become temporarily invisible. All that can be seen is a faint outline of his user, but at the time of the murders, due to the darkness, the chance of spotting the assailant would be little to none. Now, my hypothesis leans toward the killer waking in the middle of the night and using one of these devices to hide his presence as he slashed the throats of his victims. Uh, hiding them under the bed, though, that was way too easy to find if this were a Brotherhood agent, which is why I call you men to attention today. Are you there? What is your name? Tiberius, sir. Tiberius? Where do you sleep every night in the barracks? 
Betting closest to the northern door, sir. And I entered from the south door on the other side. The murders took place near the dead center of the room. It looks like you're clean for now, Tiberius. Are you there? Yes, sir. And now you... I am. Do you recall me asking for your name? Uh, no. No, sir. Tell me what all you know about the nightly murders. I... I slept just next to the Vexillarius, yes. But the deaths were so silent, I... You sure you didn't keep an eye open, pretending to sleep, as you let the deaths of your brothers in arms just happen? Why, I... No, sir. Tell me the truth, Legionnaire, or shall I make a call to the Legion and have him personally throw you off a cliff? Sir, I tell you all I know. A soldier's tongue shouldn't be so hesitant. You opened your words with haste and not a direct answer. Now, do you know of your bunkmate's murderer, or shall I accuse you of them? Why, I... I may have. Hand me your machete. My... Your machete. Now. <laughs> yes, you do. Which is why you just lost your index finger. Who wants to start playing four-finger fillet on their downtime next? Nobody? Good. I'll keep you on hold for the final list of who gets crucified at the end of this. So, Tiberius doesn't have much of an alibi, and our friend here, who likes to talk back, just made the waiting list. Which now brings us to our last man. Uh, tell me, soldier, can you be the one that brings valuable and mature answers to the table, hmm? Yes. Ah, solid answers. I like it. I feel comfortable to free yourself from brutal interrogation. Uh, my senses tell me you're more civil than the rest. I'm all ears. Well, as I do lie behind the Vexillarius at night. So you're the one with the stash of stealth boys under your bed. Murderer! Please, let me finish. These men are lying. Uh, how so? That sack. It is familiar with all of us in the barracks. Did you know what was in it? No. The bag was rumored to be filled with Legion Denarius. Nothing more. It was passed around our barracks after Tiberius would supposedly obtain them for us. What? Let the man finish speaking. Tiberius would do his best to divert suspicion from Junius, the Vexillarius, in order to continue his collection by promising a cut to each of us that hid the sack under our beds in rotation. We... we had no idea the killings were related. But now I understand why Junius was killed. Tiberius. This is treason! How dare you accuse me of murdering my own! Yours? Ha! Huh. You may fight, but you do not fight under the bull. Okay. On the ground, Tiberius. No! I won't let you! He's got a gun. Uh, Marcus, get down! He flees! He's headed to the bunker. He bumped off the guard. Take this. Now go! Gosh, this man's fast. Leave me alone! Trust me, pal. That's the last thing you're gonna get. Draco, I'm chasing down the crook now. Thank heavens. Where are you now? In the bunker. Some lad named Tiberius got his cover blown wide open. He used a bag of stealth boys to murder his fellow legionaries. All right, all right. Just chase down that walking corpse as deep as you can and snag that component. Those idiots won't be the wiser. What if they don't keep their promise to let me out of here? I'll take care of all that. Just do your job, and what happens next will be up to me. Understood. What? Dead end. End of the line for you. Stop! I've got a gun! Me too, buddy. I'll, I'll shoot! Oh, and then what, big guy? You'll still have a gang of bloodthirsty hounds waiting for you outside. Well, I'll... I'll shoot them too. Pal, you're hanging on a cross. If not, I put two in your head and call it a day. No, I won't go to the cross. I won't let that happen. There's only one other way out of this, Tiberius. Who do you work for? You had it from the start, Brutus. I'm with the Brotherhood. Agent Kale. I've been trying to get something here for a long time. Might it be something they call the can opener? <laughs> How did you know? Because I'm undercover, too. Real name's Detective Walter Camry, Camry Investigations, Plano, Texas. So, you're not Legion? The furthest thing from, and I'm looking for the same thing you are. Then we can work together, right? We can make this work! I'm sorry, Mr. Cal, but there isn't much room for chance on your side. If I had known before, the odds could have benefited the both of us. But in the end, that component would have been mine. What could you possibly need that thing for? 
The Brotherhood needs it. The Brotherhood can rot for all I care. I need that thing for a vault. You, you're with that darned Enclave group, aren't you? We've been trying to root you sickos out for months now. How in blazes do you know of the Enclave presence here? I was told it was a small cell. It is! But you monsters are planning something bigger with that vault. We know getting that component could mean life or death for this state. That's why I was put here. And everything was going smoothly until you showed up. I don't know what you think they hired you for. But it ain't what you think it is. First off, I'm not Enclave. I hate them as much as you do. Then why work for them? You probably just unwound years of planning for us. I'm not Brotherhood either. The Brotherhood has been just as much a burden in my life as the Enclave has. And this job goes further than some stupid vault. You know where that vault is then, don't you? My lord, that means the Enclave knows where... No. I've got to warn them. I'm sorry. If it makes you feel better, I take no joy in doing this. You should, Walter. Uh, Marcus, what are you doing here? I just came by to deliver this quite interesting device I found so proudly presented in the next room. The can opener. Please, give it to me! Uh, no need to worry, Marcus. I found our rat. In the corner where he belongs. Uh, seems fit for a firing squad. Though maybe the cross wouldn't suit you either. Dragging as I let my soldiers ravage you until dead from all the trouble you've caused us. Seems better. <laughs> I... Centurion Marcus, I believe a large mistake has been made. This interloper has revealed his true identity to me. His name is... Fool! I know Brutus isn't who he claims to be. He only managed to use his snake-like behavior for the Legion positively. You, on the other hand, that, my foolish friend, will be the leg we drag you through the dirt by. Here, Walter, the job is done. Um, thanks, Marcus. Uh, may I leave now, if that's no trouble? I'm a man of my word, Detective. Just remain in uniform until far from here. That is, unless you want to witness what the Legion does to its enemies. I'm good, thanks. Fine. See to it that you leave before we have our fun with our friend here. The bloodlust is quite contagious, if you catch my drift. A message received. I'll head out now. What in Lanius is that? Kale, did you call your brotherhood dogs on us or something? <clears throat> Who's attacking? That's some heavy artillery. It can't be some ragtag raider group. Oh, I've got to get out of here. You aren't going anywhere, Camry. Hey, you and me had a deal. And yet again, you screw me over. I've got a gun, you know. And I have bullet-resistant armor. Along with my arm holding the sword to your throat, I put this circumstance in check. If you're asking for a melee, then consider this a checkmate. <laughs> say we stick together until we get past whatever's out there, okay? I'll work something out about the component I have here when we do. And why? Why should I trust you? Because I'm only a detective for hire. I have zero history with the Enclave. I can be bought, Kale. I... I don't know. Look, you're bound by blood with the Brotherhood of Steel. I get it. You aren't the first member I've crossed paths with. Though I can't do anything about that leg on the way back, I can send you home with this can opener if we work something out. Fine. But I want the component first. Hey, you got it, pal. Just drop that gun and I can hand it to you real quick. <sighs> okay, fine. But I'm not dropping it. Uh, keep pointing it down, then. I don't want any trouble. All right. I'm coming forward now. Hey, you put your 
yours down too. Uh, hey, hey, my bad, my bad. Uh, there, you see, just like yours. <gasps> Hurry, I'm losing blood over here. Just a, a few inches away from you now. Are you able to see me? Y yeah, just hurry! Here we are. See? Guns down and here's the component. <clears throat> Go on. Take it. You got it? <sighs> yeah. Thanks. Hey, you're welcome. Now let's get out of here, eh? Yeah. Sure thing. <laughs> Sorry, friend, but I'm seeing Bunny again. see a death ball. Likewise. And nor have I felt the need to devour human this much. I'm coming aboard. They tell those power armor freaks not to shoot me. Walter! You again? Damn. Guns jammed. Care to try your luck again with machetes? My arm may be shot, but I've had enough of your lies to drive me to victory. We've had more trouble with you than anyone else you've managed to screw over. So you'll be dealing with the likes of me. Why, you... You're talking... Deathclaw, yes. But I'd rather not explain my story any further to you. You're not worth my time. Caesar's legate will praise me for your slaying. And I shall rise atop this muck of a wasteland. The whole lot of you will be under my thumb once I prove a centurion can take down a mighty... Ah, uh, Marcus. We hardly knew ye. Well, uh, that solves that. Let's go, Walter. This should be all we need. And man that turd if you know what's good for you. No arguments here. Well, let's get out of here. This is Sergeant Miller, beginning extraction from the Legionary base. Locking waypoint coordinates on Vault 54. This is what we were trying to avoid in the first place. A uh, full-on breaking. All of that petty scrapping in the vault. Now I think it truly was for now. Cruel irony. Though we suspect that Vault 54 destroyed itself before we, well, commandeered it. Hey, you're the people Overseer Mackenzie told me bug the message from Vault Tech. 
That's what caused Officer Jensen and O'Neill and the rest of that crooked security force to do what they did. In shorter terms, preventing you people from getting to this vault was my whole case in the beginning. I was told your initial mission in this vault was to find out who did what they did, and then receive your pay, meaning that case was closed. What this device will do is, in metaphorical terms, is do nothing more than release a bottle cap from a bottle that's been shaken far too rough. What you're doing is a good thing. Prevent yourself from guilt, not present. Regret is an awful thing. I know. I felt it. Mm. Uh, who told you all this? Well, now that you're here, the newly appointed overseer let us in on current vault affairs. It was a pain for my superiors to negotiate with him, but the truth came out of him with enough wooing. He's a businessman, not a stubborn one. Whoa, wait, they appointed a new overseer? Indeed they did. After the death of Mackenzie by the hand of that imbecile Jensen I heard of, a man called Custer took his throne. Our first initiative was to ensure the safety of that girl of yours, Bunny. That is when we knew the Legion job was sealed. Hold on. You forgot one thing, big guy. <laughs> and what's that? Where's my caravan? Oh, there goes my next meal. I'm serious. You and I both know that was the reason you had me nearly get crucified. As I promised, when we get what we want, their safety will be secured. Huh. Looks like you had more of a benefit after all. Let's just get in. Agreed. How goes vault penetration, boys? Sir. At ease. Status report. Draco, sir. Breach remains at a standstill. Our attempts still continue, however. Is this our contact? Hmm. Fresh from the wasteland. He is the only outsider that's been inside before. And he's retrieved the long-awaited XQS T-22 for us. You mean you actually have it? By the nine. We were beginning to think a full search and assault was prone to play out on that Legion camp. Could have risked valuable American lives. I don't care if you're a wastelander. The Enclave has your thanks. Uh, yeah. Uh, here you go. The XQS T-22, a.k.a. the can opener. Hope this works. Oh, -ho. with this caliber of technology... That vault door stands no chance. Hey, boys! We got it! We got the can opener! Ah, shining beacon of what all fighting men and women should follow. You know, a man of book smarts and high potential such as you would make a fine addition to the Enclave. I, I mean, this just proves... Cap it off right there, Mr. Claw. I've licked all of your boots long enough to call it a spit shine. I... I just wanted this to end. Uh, I killed an innocent man today. What? The Brotherhood Double Crosser? Having sympathy for that scum of a military is lower than any boot you could lick. It's not exactly why I killed him. It was how I did it. Lured the can opener device right in front of his face to gain his trust. And I... Put four rounds in him. Right before he could utter that slogan of theirs. Ad victorium. Or to victory. The Enclave has no time for useless slogans. Your posters beg to differ. Now, what am I looking at here? This, my friend, is the Tesla drill. A uh, true innovation by the United States government. You see, when we bugged that Vault Tech message, which instantly gave us the location of Vault 54, the possibility was clear that the Vault could be sealed irreversibly. Though my Enclave superiors expected internal Vault security to do the work for us, 
Production of the Tesla drill began almost immediately. Tesla? Nikola Tesla? Like the one in the old magazine? Precisely. Master of electricity. This points to the series of electronic components that make Vault 54 so airtight seeming. The mechanical arm holding the door is no longer holding it against us physically. When the choice was made to permanently seal the vault, that's when those electronic components were used as nothing more than double locks, if you will. Hmm. Like a backup generator for doors, I suppose. Exactly. And the Tesla drill means to trigger a short in the flow, and thus disabling the door. And you're telling me this big old thing pounding in the vault door hasn't been doing the trick? I'm afraid not. Quite a disappointment at first, but boy. When that component was discovered in our pre-war archives, the smiles could be seen through my men's helmets. That's for sure. Ah, I see. You boys just needed a bigger current. Exactly right. And now, the rewards of our work await us. The XQS T-22 is in stone. Waiting on your orders, sir. Watch this. Fire when ready, men. Affirmative. You heard him. Breaching of Vault 54 begins in 3, 2, 1. Detective, they more than likely destroyed each other, yes? But, but I... Move in, men. Take every level below the overseer's office. Me and our guests deserve to meet the new man in charge. Yes, sir! They couldn't save it. This was nothing like the Vault 54 I left. There were happy homes, businesses, people at every corner. Oh, boy. I hope whatever happened... I hope it was quick. We'll see how much in ruins a few pampered humans can bring themselves to. Please, avoid the site, Walter. We can get an update from Overseer Custer. Well, uh, what choice do I have? Sea power runs thick through the walls of this metal dungeon. So many memories of Vault 13 in this place. Were the elevators bigger in that place? That was the most uncomfortable ride I've ever taken in my life. Walter, by the end of this, you'd have forgotten that useless brotherhood savage you shot. Think of it. You, Bunny, and Plano. Along with Red and their caravan all in one place. Well, I can finally move my way up within the ranks of my reunited brothers and sisters. <laughs> this hardly accounts for the loss of that oil rig way back. But just a little bit. Hmm. Come now, Walter. Neither of us will have to risk our necks anymore. And you'll be free from the military work. <laughs> I guess I never thought of it that way. Perhaps you're right, Draco. That's the spirit. Odd lass, the door. I'm coming, Bunny. Overseer Custer. It is a long awaited pleasure. Oh, oh, Lord. Great Scott. He's lying on the floor. Oh, no, no. This isn't good. Custer, can you hear me? No pulse. He's dead. And you want to know why? There's a bullet in his head. Custer shot himself. If that selfish fool... <laughs> After all that planning... Draco, what's that behind Mackenzie's old desk? Huh? Oh, that 
It's the overseer's tunnel. The true gold mine we needed. <laughs> that moron Custer thought he took our answers away from us when he blew his brains out. Mackenzie never mentioned this place. Looks like a basement within a basement. That's because all vault overseers are meant to keep these passages a secret. Even to the most trusted dwellers. Why it's opened is beyond me. Well, let's head down. Please, be down here, girl. Darn it, Draco. You told me to my face Bunny would be here. If what Custer told us was true, she was under strict protection by the remainder of Vault security. Unless my men find her down in the lower levels, this could be the only place she ran off to. You think Bunny shot Custer? That's a possibility. But the way his body was posed. Well, if Bunny capped the new overseer and ran, she'd have a good reason for doing so. Detective, to the right, there's a light switch. The passage seems to end here. Our space is widening. Why, this... this can't be. Well, congratulations, Deathclaw. We've risked a Plano caravan along with our lives in a filthy Legion campsite. Flew back to where it all started, and what do we get? An empty room. A big, fat, empty metal room. No bunny, no whatever you were all looking for. Zilch. We were so close. We played Walter Camry for a sap. Now give me a reason as to why I shouldn't take out your eye. Right now. <laughs> but Custer said... Look, I don't care what Custer promised you. My mission is completed, and I want my girl. The schematic... Uh, the schematics... They were supposed to be... What schematics? <sighs> what the heck is this thing on the wall? A, a piece of paper. Well, that's a, that's a note. From Bunny. Walter. Given a hundred to one chances, you might find this letter. I've... Duh. 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 No. No. No!